Today, I will be explaining how to divide polynomials by monomials. This top part is a polynomial because it has two different terms. This part is a monomial because it only has one. To set this up, you have to make sure that you split the problem into two so that this side is one and this side is one. x squared over x plus x cubed over x. Nate, would you kindly show us the answer? Usroda! Thank you, Nate. You are correct. x plus x squared. Because x squared minus x is x. Plus x cubed minus x, which is x squared. And this is the final answer. Oh, that's, that's me, America. Okay, here we go. Um, radicals by name. I guess I'll be teaching radicals. So, radical whatever. Okay, who can tell me where the radical is here? I can. It's the four. No! Oh, maybe it isn't. Huh? Uh. It was the two. The exponent, if you will. And who in the world knows how I would make this a four? Like this. And I would have to add the exponent of two. Done! No. <laughs> you have to square it. I would have to square it. Yeah, you would have to. Well, that's what I meant, Sam. I know I would have to square it. No, but it's not four squared. No, but it's not four squared, but I would need to square it at the end. you gotta do is you gotta take the multiplicative inverse of 9 and multiply it by all these coefficients right here. That is completely wrong. Okay, well. Wow. I don't need this poo. I'm out. Oh, sucker. Oh. That's right, America. I'm out. So basically what you do here is you divide these two numbers, which would equal 1, and then the 8 is subtracted by the 4. So the 4 subtracts from the 8, which equals 4, so that's 1 times 10 oh, no. to the 4th. Do you understand? I think I know how to do it. Oh, do you want to try? I would, but my hands are taped. May I use the lavatory? No. <laughs> Thank you, headmistress. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's it. Okay. Good. Hey! 